I have this water closet carrier that I downloaded from the manufacturer website. I will put the link in the description below. And I want to make it work in Revit in such a way that it computes all the fixture units. As it was currently downloaded, this family doesn't compute all these fixture units. So I will have to make some adjustments in order for this family to do so. First, I'm gonna unlock this 3D view. And then I'm move, gonna move it around. This connector right here, it says flow direction bidirectional. It's supposed to be out. And then this connector and this other two on the sides at the flow direction we're supposed to be in. I'm gonna press apply. Now if I select any of these connectors, if I look at mechanical flow, I see I can have flow and pressure drop. There is no fixture units. That is because the system classification is set to hydronic supply. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all four connectors and all of them are hydronic supply as of now but then if I drop down I can find sanitary and all of the sudden in the mechanical flow I have fixture units but they are grayed out the reason they're grayed out is because flow configuration it's calculated I have to set it up to fixture units and now fixture units can be editable. I'm gonna hit escape twice. And now since all connectors flow configuration is set up to fixture units, I'm not gonna change the fixture units value because this value is gonna be set by the, the, by the water closet, but I'm gonna create a new parameter for each connector. So let's start with this first connector and I'm gonna click associate family parameter and I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna name it WFU water fixture unit and then one but I'm gonna also copy the four first four characters and I'm gonna make it an instance and I'm gonna press OK and then OK. Then I'm gonna select this connector I'm gonna go again to associate family parameter, create a new parameter. I'm gonna paste and I'm gonna put two. Also instance parameter, okay. Then I'm gonna select this connector and I'm gonna follow the same procedure. Control paste and then this is gonna be number three, an instance parameter, okay. And finally the last connector, new parameter, it's gonna be number four instance parameter and press OK. And now the system knows it's sanitary and it works with fixture units. However, this connector that says out needs to compute whatever comes in on the left side, whatever comes in on the right side and whatever comes in from the top, which is gonna be the sum of the other water carriers and water closets. So in order for this carrier to do that, I have to change back the flow configuration to calculate it. And now when I did that, fixture units got grayed out again. However, the parameters are still there. So since I'm here, I'm also gonna create a formula here. Waste fixture one equals waste fixture two plus, and I'm gonna press control V because I previously copied waste fixture 3 plus waste fixture 4. Now I'm going to press apply and OK. So now this connector calculates whatever comes in. This side connector also has to calculate whatever comes in. And this other side connector also needs to calculate whatever comes in. And now when we spit out a number or fixture units, it's gonna be the sum of all these three other calculated connectors. So let's create a new project. I'm gonna go on browse and here I'm gonna select plumbing default and okay. 
I'm gonna go back to my water closet carrier and load it into the new project and let's place it somewhere around here I'm gonna press escape and now we need some water closet so I'm gonna press PX on my keyboard that's the shortcut for plumbing fixture and now I'm gonna look for water closet and we have this wall mounted water closet and since it's wall mounted I'm gonna need a wall but I'm not gonna draw a wall I can do two reference planes so I'll set the reference plane here and then one more on the bottom and now go back to PX plumbing fixtures look again for water closet and let's just select any of them and now I can set it up let's say right here and I'm gonna press spacebar and I'll sell, set up one here and I wanna make sure they're aligned so I'm gonna use the align tool and I'm gonna align both of these water closets and this seems to be upside down so I'm gonna press spacebar to flip it over and I also need to make sure this the connector of the water closet carrier matches the elevation of the water closet so I'm gonna have to create a section view like so I'm gonna right click and go to the view and this is the elevation of the water closet carrier I'm gonna press AL which is the shortcut for a line tool click on the co water closet carrier connector and then click on the connector of the water closet which is a little bit higher and on, then I'm gonna do the same for the other side click on water closet carrier connector and then water closet connector now I'm gonna go back in the plumbing view zoom in a little bit maybe extend this guy because it's in the way now this carrier has a diameter of 4 as shown right here 4 inches in 4 inches in and then another 4 inches in and then another 4 inches out and we cannot see it because I see here the vent diameter as well as the sanitary di diameter therefore if this carrier has a 4 inch diameter that means the water closet should be also 4 inches so if I select one I'm gonna go to edit type and here at sanitary diameter I'm gonna set it up to 4 and press apply and also the waste fixture units I'm gonna set it up to 4 and then press apply and then ok now I can select the carrier I right click and draw pipe and when I see the circle that means I'm connected so I'm gonna click and water closet carrier has two connectors the domestic cold water connector and then the sanitary which is we just set it up to 4 inches so I'm gonna set up the 4 inches sanitary round because that's what I want to connect to and I just see a line because this is a representation of a medium view so I need to set up the view to fine and now I'm gonna see an actual pipe I'm gonna do the same for this other connector and again I'm gonna connect to the sanitary 4 inches round and press OK now I'm gonna press escape twice zoom out a little bit select all these elements except the section view and then press C on the, my keyboard to copy them and I'm gonna start copy copying one here and then since I have multiple already checked I'll, I'll copy another one here I'm gonna press escape twice I'm gonna draw a pipe right here where it says in and I need to cap this first pipe so I'm gonna cap open ends and this is the cap right here and then I'm going to select this carrier, right click, draw pipe and I'm going to connect to this carrier and then escape, select this other carrier again draw pipe or you can use PI which is the shortcut for pipe escape and then the last one I'm going to draw pipe so in order for this to work one end 
has to be closed and the other end has to be open. Now let's use a pipe tag so we can show the fixture units. So I'm going to set up the pipe tag right here and this pipe tag shows me the diameter of the pipe. In order to sh make it show the fixture units I need to go to edit family which is the pipe tag. Click on the size which is the label. Edit the label. So right now I just have size. I need to look for fixture units. Now I'm going to bring the fixture units on the right side and I'm going to check the break because I want them to be one under another. And then maybe I'll put a suffix which is going to be space F U from fixture units and let's make it with capital letters and then I'm going to press OK. Now I can load this into my project, press OK and override the existing version. So now this is 24 fixture units, this is 16 fixture units and this is 8 fixture units. Let me change the scale and this makes sense because we have 4 fixture units for each water closet. So this is gonna look like 8, 16 and 24. And if I go back to the water closet carrier I can do the same for the vent system. However, when I select system classification to vent, I don't see the fixture units. That's, that's because for some reason Revit doesn't compute vent water fixtures. But you, what you can do, you can select the system classification to sanitary and then create another system in Revit that's sanitary but it's actually called vent but also for this to work this is gonna have to be an output instead of be bidirectional and now this needs to compute only these two connectors and that's because I don't want to calculate the sum of the other ones because the vent services only these two water closes that are gonna be on the sides of this carrier so I need to create another parameter. So I need to go back to fixture, fixture units again for the vent and create a new parameter and name it let's say vent fixture units. I'm gonna make it an instance as well. Press OK, OK. My formula should look as follows. Fixture units 2 plus fixture units 4. So that means this connector and then this connector. And I'm gonna load it into my project which is project 1 of course. I'm gonna override the existing version and let's make another section view like so. I'm going to go to the section view and let's set up the detail level to fine. Then when I zoom in, I need, I need to make sure I select the carrier and here I have 8 fixture units out which is the vent even if the system says it's a sanitary system. And since we're doing this I can also go and show you how to create a sanitary system that's actually a vent. So I'm gonna click search in project browser and look for sanitary and here under piping systems I'm gonna go to duplicate and that's the duplicate sanitary too but I'm gonna call it vent and then fixture units because I can name, not name it just vent because we have already a vent so I'm gonna go to right click type properties graphic overrides and I'm gonna make the color let's use this color right here so I'm gonna press OK and press OK and now I'm gonna select this pipe and change the system type to vent fixture units I'm gonna press apply and this is my vent 
and select draw pipe. I'm gonna make a pipe all the way up to here. Then select this carrier, connecting to, and I see this arrow right here, which means that's the connector that wants to connect into something. So I'm gonna select this pipe, and I'm gonna select the other carrier. I'm gonna click connect into, and I'm gonna select this other pipe. Now I can use the same tag and TG is the shortcut. So I have eight fixture units right here and then 16 fixture units right here. I looked up before how I can make these carriers compute the fixture units and the workaround was to turn the carriers in uh, pipe fittings. So if I go here on view, right here family categories and parameters and instead of a plumbing fixture some people will turn it into a pipe fitting. So this way they would make the connectors to compute the fixture units. But then I looked on Autodesk forum and eventually somebody proposed this solution which works pretty well and I don't need to change the category of my family. I hope this was useful, be well, be safe and take care.